time, I'll be just here. Fancy meeting no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. What I want to say about it, the Princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> Uncork this man's breakfast! Hey, old bonnet. Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. My brother, a traitor, that woman, Templar. I have no family, no wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me. You don't know what... I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs! And slay your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Well, well! The face of my good Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder! Shut your gob! You goddamn fucking knave, Vane! <laughs> Nancy boy! You've only done half a fucking job! Fucking hell! Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition. Stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regret. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon. <clears throat> you done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? I will. Then 
keeps you wondering. Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Is everything you do, I'll spy, Edward. It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you all. I can handle this. You lout. Always tearing down when you could be building things up. Or building yourself up, if nothing else. Just leave me be. Change course, Edward. Change your bloody course before it's too late. Jesus, Addy, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? <laughs> Captain Kenway. Ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. Do you honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I... With everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you, 